Students here at SF State, along with City College, are rallying against Governor Jerry Brown's budget cut proposal. James Martinez joins us now to tell us what these cuts could mean for the CSU system. Thanks, Allie. The CSU system is making drastic cuts in tuition increases, making higher education a much more difficult goal. The proposed budget cut means that SF State would have a $32 million deficit, and that means even higher tuition costs. Students and faculty gathered in the Malcolm X Plaza to protest budget cuts in a statewide day of action. This is about students standing up and asserting our rights as students. The picketing took place as a result of Governor Jerry Brown's proposal to cut $500 million from the UC and CSU system. SF State students along with CCSF students marched from San Francisco State to CCSF to voice their opposition. Community colleges, uh, state colleges, the university are the ones that are cut and then looking for more money, uh, people look to the prisons or, or to public safety. Now I don't, I mean those are the, what are there, but I'm not, I'm just laying it out the way it is. This is just the facts. The budget cut would leave SFSU with a $32 million deficit. Dean for the College of Education, Jacob Perea, comments on the importance of higher education. The reality is, is that in this state alone, uh, and probably by 2020, so not too long, uh, there will be a need of maybe three million workers who have uh, bachelor's degrees, minimum. Public universities are economic engines providing the education for 150,000 California jobs. If we're not getting the funding and the tools we need, then I, it just, it's going to be a harsh future. Last year's Day of Action rally helped restore nearly $200 million to public education. James Martinez for State of Events. Protest organizers say that for things to change, people need to vote on the budget crisis in their local elections. Meanwhile, tuition is expected to double to almost $5,000 by semester by 2012. Back to you in the studio.